There are times when our fears of what might happen are larger than what has occurred. But even when our imaginations are out of control, the dangers can still be very real. We begin in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on the evening of March 27, 1995, as Joe Carey was picking up his two young children at the home of his wife, Kathy, from whom he is separated. Hey, bud. Hey, Spring. I live at my, my dad's house, and Kathy lives down there with the kids, right. and uh, every day after work, I get over. Is there any mail? Uh, no, there wasn't any. That works out pretty good the way we got it arranged. It's kind of like a break for her, too, to be able to say, take them. Love you. Love you, too. Okay, bye-bye. Kathy had been entertaining a house guest that belonged to her younger sister, Rita Roberts. Kathy ended up with Andromeda because I moved into my father's house, and my father is afraid of snakes. Dinner. Anytime I have a problem, she's there for me. And if I need something, she'll take care of me. That's how she ended up taking care of my snake. Hey. Well, I have a nice, big, juicy rabbit for you. She's never fed my snake. She's watched is basically it. So I explained to her how to do it, take the rabbit, and just dump it in there. Andromeda. Okay. In my mind, I was picturing it going for her neck. I was afraid that by the time that the fire department or the police department arrived, that it might have been too late. Oh, God. Kathy Carey had been home alone trying to feed her sister's seven-and-a-half-foot pet Burmese python. Around 5 p.m., a desperate call for help came in to Milwaukee police telecommunicator Mary Ann Stima. type of call you would expect to find in Milwaukee. Right. You, know, you just don't have them sliding around outside. Is this a snake? I don't know anything about snakes. I know that I'm scared to death of them, and uh, if they're on the other side of the country, that's close enough for me. You guys better put your boots on. We don't know what we have here. fire unit was dispatched to the scene, including EMT Mark Stockton. I thought the call was going to be a false alarm, but yet something was going on. People don't make up things that goofy. Two snakes at all. Police officer Dave Arndt and his partner heard the report on the radio. 
Normally, a snake of that nature will strike, clamp down, coil up, and constrict their prey until it's dead. And uh, then they'll consume it head first. Is he still on your arm, huh? Yes, uh, it won't let go of my arm. I've got him sitting on the kitchen table, and I'm about as still as still can get. In my mind, I was picturing it going for her neck, and I didn't know how long she would have if that did happen. He's just staring at me. I was afraid that by the time that the fire department or the police department arrived on the scene, that it might have been too late. We have police and fire on the way to you, and one of the girls who's working with the Humane Society. We're getting all the help we can for you, hon. Oh, God, I'm so scared. I didn't know how many times she'd been bit, but I knew that she was bleeding from bites. That's one of the reasons that the girl called the Humane Society to find out what we were dealing with as far as poison. Within five minutes, the first rescue workers arrived, led by Lieutenant Wayne Reed. I've seen a lot. I've got 25 years on. That was impressive. When you're covered shoulder to wrist and there's still snake left over. He was constricting, so he had stopped the blood flow. I was pretty convinced he was going to eat her hand. So I just uh, reached out and I grabbed the back of his head. It was on my side a sigh of relief that I knew that somebody else was there with her. Up until then, I felt it was just her and I and the snake. I knew he couldn't get around and get me so as long as I was holding on all tight enough. But well, he was a little angry, I think, when I grabbed his head. He was not a happy snake. One of the firefighters stated that that snake doesn't bite. And I could hear her say, you want to bet it doesn't? Yeah, that's a Burmese python. That's what that is. Mm, whatever it is, it's fake. Yeah. Non-venomous. Yeah. Basically, the snake was confused. I think it immediately sensed the scent of the rabbit. And the rabbit was dead, so it wasn't moving. The only thing moving was her hands. Why didn't you just drop it in the cage? I tried to do that. I tried to drop it, and then um, it wouldn't come out. So Once they sense that there's a meal, you know, they get into a frenzy almost. Even if the snake was eating regular, it probably would have done the same thing. Three months. Wow, it's a little hungry, I think. I, you know, that was just what my sister said. Defeat, like she said, every three months. So that's, you know, As soon as the snake got inside the cage, he started eating that rabbit right away, so... The snake was, uh, was hungry. Right, watch your head. My initial estimate of the snake was about 50 to 80 pounds. I suppose if the snake constricted her around the neck, it probably could have killed her. Kathy Carey was treated at a nearby hospital for a bite on her hand and released that same day. It wasn't Andromeda's fault, it wasn't my fault, a little bit it was my fault, but I had gotten used to having her around and being, you know, having my hands in there and her coming up by me. Oh, four people working this thing. <laughs> the kids were upset at the beginning until they found out she was all right. They saw the snake bite on her hand and they knew she was okay and then they just settled down. Yeah, we gotta wait for the water to come back on. I'm glad that my mom's okay and the snake's okay. One way, guys. If my mom got bit by the snake again, I'd call 911. My dad would turn them into boots. See, when you push the buttons for the elevator, okay, if this thing fills up... Despite what happened, Kathy is still taking care of her sister's pet, Andromeda. I think she did know that it was my hand after a few minutes. To me, it seemed like she was looking at me like, oh, God, what did I do? You know, I'm really sorry that this happened. I'm always going to remember this call. 
Even my brother said, how can you sleep at night? How could you go to sleep? Didn't you dream of snakes all night? But when someone says, did you ever have any interesting calls at 911? I, Let me tell you about the snake. <sighs> Next. I was just assuming everything would be under control because time had already elapsed, but I was just utterly surprised that he was alone.